no voices in the distance. In a world that's crazy, I can't see any better antidote than being creative. I make art because it makes me happy. I wanted these illustrations to be strong, bold, and colorful and celebratory. To suddenly have my entire income ripped out from under my feet. I was like, deep breath, deep breath. It's gonna be okay. Pivot, pivot, pivot. I couldn't believe the timing. On the 20th, I was releasing my debut album. Like, how was I gonna get through an album launch now? The music industry had quite literally just shut itself. Moving through the motions With no pressure or deadlines or expectations, I've set myself the project of making a fully three-dimensional floating dress from seaweed paper, life-size. It's probably kind of good that when I allowed visitors at the moment because I would not turn into a very nice person if someone touched them. <laughs> That makes me sound horrible, doesn't it? Everyone thinks I'm so chilled and relaxed. I went for walks through the valley. My senses were reawakened from all teaching I do, and I think my work has exploded in a positive way. Small country towns are lovely, and living on a farm is lovely as well, but it was getting a little bit unsustainable to keep trying to study music. Kind of like I'm doing now from distance and in isolation. My style is a bit different. My style is like, I call it unique style. Yeah, he'd be a bit earthy, more earthy here. I started painting, I have a nice view here. I can't go anywhere. I have a lot of travel photos from when I've traveled and I just felt like I wanted to connect maybe to the world that I can't visit right now. In my hand, I have a needle, which I'm about to self-administer. I'm blessed. That's my saying, I'm blessed. Ah, the most difficult thing is in working from home is a small kid. actually used to live in the city. I had a lot of trouble with inspiration. I couldn't think of anything to paint. Now I'm inundated with choice and it's pretty fabulous. So I'll go home and make magic or go into the studio and make more shit. Uh, it, was, it was good just to smell the roses, I guess. And in the middle of the day, I'd just be lying in the bedroom with the air conditioning on, shamelessly, shamelessly. Not like trying to steal a nana nap, you know. It was bliss. I have been thinking about fear and the role that it plays in our lives and its importance in its own way and how to be wise with fear. And I think fear matters in life because it's the thing that tells us not to jump out of a plane without a parachute. It's the thing that tells us when something is happening that we should be concerned about. And I tend to find my emotions jump back and forth on that. So there are times where I just want to say, screw it all, I'm not scared. I'm trying to learn to listen to my fear a bit more, but also not to let it get overly loud in my head. <laughs>